Hey boys and welcome back to another Bleach Bray Soul video and today we are going to be asking the question Is it worth summoning on the Fallacy Bubble Round 3 and 4 rerun banner? Now I'll say right off the bat for most of us it's going to be an easy skip Definitely consider doing the first multi however 50 orbs if you get a new character boom you just made profit If you didn't get anything or you got a dupe then you're only down 50 orbs and it's not that big of a deal But for new players out there I would definitely consider just doing a first the first few steps Maybe go to step 5 and then back out and save for the end anniversary the reason why i say that is because these characters are quite rare honestly they are becoming one of the rare characters in the game because they're not becoming fillers anymore round one two three all came as fillers throughout the last year when thousand bubble banners happened and then after that they slowly stopped becoming fillers anymore i don't know why we haven't even got round four as fillers yet i honestly thought round four would have been fillers for the fifth anniversary uh the second round which potentially would be thousand blood war and unfortunately because this banner is now here that doesn't seem to be the case and i know why caleb are bringing this out one it's a good bait before the anniversary. If you are tempted to pull, then you're going to waste all your orbs right before the anniversary and probably have less orbs to then potentially spend more money on this game for the anniversary. And it's also because the Asian version just released where a lot of new players are starting the game and they want to pull for their favorite characters. And let's be honest, yes, some of them aren't good anymore, but... It's the manga versions of these characters. For example, Kisuke and Yuha. These characters aren't really good anymore. More so Yuha. He's not really usable in my opinion. But it's Yuha in the game. That's a reason to pull alone. I would want Yuha if I didn't have him. Even though I don't use him, it's nice just to see, you know, experiment with this character for the first five minutes and then realize he's not fun playing. Let me just use Koga instead. Stuff like that, right? But it's still, it's cool to have these characters in your account. They're collector's items at the end of the day. So if you are a collector, then maybe consider doing a first, you know, first few steps. Go to step five back out if you are new also consider doing the same first five steps back out because after that then you're just wasting more orbs that you could potentially use on the anniversary which should have relatively good fillers now this banner in and of itself isn't the best and that's because of how Caleb do thousand blood or reruns i don't know why they do it like this and i don't know why they did thousand blood around eight i believe it's eight the one with tenjiro kirio and senjimaru that banner just came back i believe it's out right now it doesn't follow this same step up model where they have these terrible steps i don't know why the Caleb do this it's really really bad i don't like it so the first step is 50 orbs and it's a three percent rate that's quite nice right 50 orbs okay i can understand it being three percent because it's only costing us what one fifth of a multi that's fine but then after that you go to step two it's 100 50 orbs again that's the normal step one for every banner and unfortunately it's a three percent rate still i don't like that and then you go to step three 200 orbs four percent rate that's terrible right especially with all the fillers the chance of you getting a character that you want is really really low and i know for a fact because i've seen it a lot now especially with the last banner with round one and two rerun you're gonna summon a lot on this banner or if you do you might potentially do all 15 steps or 16 steps and might not even get anything you want because of the rates it's, it's a bit unfortunate that's how it is but like i said if you are a new player with a lot Lots of orbs to spare. Maybe just go to step five. That's how I see it, right? Because these characters are just worth going for. And if you do get new characters, because I mean, these characters here, you know, there are a lot of new characters to get. Then you'll just get orbs back, right? You might actually walk away with more orbs, kind of, if you get really lucky. Probably not though. Probably not. But yeah, let's go back to the step. So when you finally get to step four, after spending what 400 orbs, you finally get to that six percent rate, which is a bit disheartening to see because you know normally we just have six percent rate. Honestly, for me in this game, after five years, anything under six percent minus the five percent banners on the individual banners those are fine anything under that terrible and i feel like caleb are just doing something wrong and that's what's happening here however there is a nice thing about this banner and that's the step 5 10 and 15 guarantee you a five character but the rate for this step is actually eight percent i would like to see this more often on other banners not the step one two three and four and stuff like that but step five it would be nice for you know future banners where the guaranteed step does actually have an increased rate to also get more five star characters because eight percent is technically the highest we've seen on any banner in the recent years at least the first anniversary did have very very high steps but it also had a lot of fillers so normally when we have eight percent it's normally a six percent for the featured characters and two percent for every other premium character in the game so technically the extra two percent isn't going to help you get the featured characters it's just going to help you not get shafted however this eight percent rate on this banner it does help you get these characters right it does increase the rates for all characters individually so if you do consider pulling on this banner after you go to step five maybe consider doing step six because it's only 50 orbs and then back out right after that just stop pulling because you're probably better off saving your orbs for the anniversary you tested your luck if you got something nice if you didn't back out take your l with pride right that's how i see it that's what i would do if i was pulling on this banner however i'm only missing one key skate and i'm not really gonna pull just for that so if we look at the characters, let's actually talk about them, right? Thousand Blood Rukia, an okay character. She has a problem with her SA2, and that's because it makes her stand still for like a couple of seconds. You, I don't think you can flash the power of it. It's, you know, when you nitpick other characters and compare it to her, 
other characters are better. She's still definitely usable to this day. I know many people still use her. And she's actually a character capable of beating Guild Quest with a level 10 SP slot. No dupes into her, just level 10 SP. She should be able to do it as long as you have decent support and accessories. So she has that going for her. I do think that's not worthy when talking about this character. Then we have Fazi Battle Round for Ichigo, the final version of Ichigo in this game. You know, the final fight between Yuha, a cool character just to have. And he's actually still usable to this day. Now, I have him max transcend. And I'm going to be honest, I don't use him a lot now. I don't know why. It's just maybe because he's old right he's been out for two years now he's old news in my opinion but you know it's still a character worth going for he's definitely one of the most usable cards out of this banner and if you get him you're definitely locked out because you know even you know level one sp even one out of five he's still usable and still fun to play as and then we have the other characters who unfortunately don't have the same profile as these characters, so we got a look at the filler port. So you have round three to go, the true Shika version. This character is a Flurry version, he's a Nat character, and honestly, not the best. Um, he's not used on PvP. For Guild Quest, because he does have a spot, he has used there, however, he is a green character, so he's not the best support. He's okay. If you pull him, you might find use in him, you might find him enjoyable, and that's fine. If you do, then he's kind of worth going for. However, I will say for most people, he might just sit in your box. Renji is actually a very, very good character, and in my opinion, until literally two weeks ago, he was the best power of Ranker Killer in the game. So he's still worth going for. In my opinion, he's the best Renji in the game. If you are a fan of Renji, definitely consider going for this character. But obviously, with the race in this game, you're not guaranteed to get him. You could get something else, and you got to just test your luck. You just got to test your luck. Then we have Yuha, we briefly mentioned him early in the video, not very good in PvE, almost unusable in PvE. PvP, you can work with him if you have good accessories, you got to basically just stack him with stamina and DR, and his whole goal is just to get the soul bomb before the enemy, to weaken them, and then just cheese them. It, it's an okay strategy, honestly not worth the effort, you probably just bear off not getting him, but, like I said at the start, it's Yuha. That alone is worth going for, kind of, because, you know, we might get a new one in the future, and he's still quite cool to have in your account. Then we have Fazi Battle Royale with you. Honestly, my, my, I was going to say, so I think I said Fazi Battle Round 4, which is the best character in this banner. Honestly, Mike changed my opinion on that. Uh, Yoroichi is actually very, very good, especially with Guild Quest nowadays. So she is a transforming character. When you do use your special, she goes into her Thunder Cat form, her strong attacks reset. She is actually, to this day, still very good. However, since her release, she has these dodgy hitboxes that you can learn to play around with, and that's fine. So actually, I might say Yoroichi is the best character to go for in this banner. Uh, honestly, she is not bad and definitely aged the best, in a sense, because of Guild Quest, because obviously that strong attack reset with her special, and also the fact that she is a speed character just makes her very, very good in Guild Quest. You know, even 1 out of 5, she's able to beat it. If you have a 5 out of 5, you have dupes into her, you know, that's even better. Then we have Kisuke, an okay character. You know, for an SP character, he's still usable. SA1 a bit dodgy, SA2 a bit dodgy too. It's an okay character. He does have the, the revive special, which honestly nowadays isn't special because, you know, everyone else has it. Not everyone, but a lot of other characters have it nowadays. He's okay. There's that's all I really need to talk about. I don't have him, to be fair, so... Alright, he's alright. And then that's it for the Fousey Bubba characters. Now we have the normal fillers, who honestly, unfortunately, you're probably going to pull more often than the Fousey Bubba characters, because there are more fillers than there are Fousey Bubba characters. Ginray is a very common character. Flurry character is actually very, very good. Funny enough, some of these fillers are actually probably better to pull than the Fousey Bubba characters. However, because they're common, you don't really want to pull them. So Ginray is a good Flurry character. He is ranged, so he has that going for him. Uh, Hiori, another good Flurry character. Good in Epigrade, good in PvE in general. Pretty good good character. Shinji is an above average Nad unit for a character that doesn't have Flurry, so that's okay. Jushiro, mainly a Link, but definitely still usable. Shinsui, again, similar to Shinji, a pretty good Nad character without Flurry, but very, very common. Ginjo, Shuhei is another Nad character. He's more annoying to play against in, in PvE because he spams his normal attacks very, very fast. Probably not going to use his character, but he's okay to have. He can actually beat Guild Quest, so he also has that going for him. He's an okay character. Kaname, okay. He's okay. And then Mayuri, he's just a DR link. That's pretty much about it. So the, the Philippines, you know, they're okay. Nothing too special. Faces we see a lot nowadays, so it's not entirely too special for the fillers. But definitely the main goal is for these Fousey Blood characters. So again, keep in mind, these characters are quite rare. They don't appear in a lot of banners. You might not see them for another six months. And maybe when they do come back in six months' time, that's just me guessing, then maybe it's better to pull from there. But like I said, if you are a new player, definitely consider pulling just to try and get them. Just expand your 
schedule inventory, right? Because I've been there, you know, I did start a new account recently a few months back and I gave it away. I realized back then, you know, it's kind of nice to go get these OPD characters, but what's important is just to expand your inventory. Get a lot of new characters. Whether they're good or bad, it's just important because if you can take on Senkamon, the more characters you have, the better. And if you can complete Senkamon, then you're getting more orbs a month to then summon for more characters. So if you are new, definitely consider pulling. Do a first few steps, maybe go to step six, and then after that, just stop and save for the anniversary. If you aren't new and you've been playing for a few years now, maybe do the first step and just save your orbs for the anniversary because that's probably going to have more value for you and your account. For me, I'm going to do the first step and then save all my orbs for the anniversary. So that was the video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. We will probably have a double upload today. I'm going to have a top 10 video, which has never been done before, and it's probably going to be the best top 10 video you've seen on YouTube, and that is not a lie. Look forward to it. <laughs> anyway, that was. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Let me know if you are pulling on this banner tomorrow morning. Are we doing the first step? I wish you lads good luck. Hopefully, you do get what you want. And I'll see you lads in the next video. Peace.